Welcome. It's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic, sponsored by Storm Bowling. Stick around as more than 80 bowlers from all around the globe compete for the International Golden Ladies Crown. Now, live from the Orleans Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, it's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic. Welcome. It's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic, sponsored by Storm Bowling. Stick around as more than 80 bowlers from all around the globe compete for the International Golden Ladies Crown. Now, live from the Orleans Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, it's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic. Welcome. It's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic, sponsored by Storm Bowling. Stick around as more than 80 bowlers from all around the globe compete for the International Golden Ladies Crown. Now, live from the Orleans Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, it's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic. Welcome. It's the 2024 International Golden Ladies Classic, sponsored by Storm Bowling. St Welcome to the International Golden Ladies Super Senior Step Ladder Finals. We'd like to thank Barb Chrisman, Storm, I Am Bowling, of course, Char Hamill, Mr. Tom Lane, Kim Powers Defer and Leanne and Blair for doing the amazing live stream for this tournament. Thank you, ladies. Our first match will be Barbara Demarest and Tana Spalding. Our leader in, in waiting for the championship will be Karen Barkall. We're gonna get this party started. Tana will be starting the match. Good luck and high scoring, ladies. All right, hello everyone, we are live. We are here from the International Golden Ladies, the 33rd annual International Golden Ladies Tournament. This is the Super Senior. I'm joined by Hall of Famer Leanne Holtenberg. Leanne, you've been busy getting tons of facts about all of our... I know, I'm learning so much about the bowlers as they're starting. Looks like Tina and Barbara are starting. going first. Tana Spaulding, she's from Texas. All right, so what uh, what facts do we need to cover first? Let's let's start with the, the International Golden Ladies Tournament. This is the 33rd annual. How did it get started? You, well, it was a great Hall of Famer, Jeanette Robinson, started this tournament. And uh, it's just gotten better all the time. Now it's Jeanette Robinson's International Golden Ladies. Looks like we had 89 total entries this week for this tournament. They started on Monday with a sweeper and then qualifying was Tuesday, two rounds. They did six games of qualifying today. So they, they put in plenty of games. The super senior cut was to 18 super seniors. Okay, 
I think I'm wrong about that. I think the super seniors cut to 12. And I think the regular seniors cut to 18. Yes. Is that yep. right? Yeah. Top 12 and the 15. So, they, so these ladies, the super seniors, have bowled practice and they bowled a sweeper, many of them. And they had 18 games of qualifying and 12 games of match play. So they've bowled 30 competition games plus some practice in the last couple of days. So that's a lot of games. It is a lot of games. Barbara Demarest is from Washington. And she has been bowling so long. She has a, a great career. She's in the Washington State Hall of Fame. Um, Tina has had like an off and on bowling career. She's taken time off from bowling and then come back to bowling and then taken time off from bowling and then come back to bowling. So she's back on bowling this year. She actually finished second in the senior Texas Queens a couple months ago. That's great. In January. So she is having a good bowling year. She won the sweeper to start off this week. Good shot. And she had a great match play record. Tana was, she had 10 of 12 wins. So she was steady and she won 10 matches. So that helped her get to the second spot. And where was Tana from? Texas. Yep. Her and her husband, Bob Spaulding, and I believe Bob Spaulding is PBA champion. I know that he bowled on the PBA tour for many years. Um, and I think that he was a PBA champion. Good shot. Right. These ladies are off to Just a good starting start. off great. So you can see the scoreboard up in the left hand corner. There's a Tina has started with eight spare and it's doubled and Barb is she's like, you know what, I'm just gonna shred. I, I got nothing else to do. She is waiting in the wings. Karen Barkle. Karen. We did have a question bringing him in the wings. She will be on the next match. This is the super senior division. The senior division will come in next. Um, I should believe it should be Super seniors are 60 years old. Um, Barb Demarest is 72 years old. She, here's a fun, 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 not so fun fact about Barb. Um, after the practice session on the first day, she was going to withdraw. Oh, because no she had recently, um, a couple months ago, made some fit changes and all that. And, and uh, she got here and everything felt crummy. And she went into the pro shop. Uh, April Lord Wittig and her husband helped her with some fit changes and she changed the pitch in her thumb, put some new grips in, changed the pitch and everything felt 100% better. Oh, no way. Yeah. And she, um, for her three rounds of qualifying, she was like plus 60, plus 50, plus 60. Like she was consistent and steady and uh, yeah, so she did good. But she was going to quit. That's crazy. Glad she didn't. I'm glad I she bet didn't she's either. glad she didn't yeah, either. I, yeah. I don't think they're set up right. Good shot. Worth it. I'm Worth thinking it. maybe the right lane just hooks a little more. She's yeah. Our freshly oiled lanes, and of course the the senior division will be on a 
different pears, but there's no burn in it. Well, until they burn. But As they burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Jeff said that's pretty amazing that she could add the turn. Yeah. Made a little tweak. Got feeling better and did great. Good shot. Little swisher seven. Stubborn. Keeps the match nice and close. So this tournament, there were 11 ladies that are over 70 years old. And they also had 25 first timers. So it's a very popular tournament on the senior women's list of tournaments to go. Many of them will stick around. The senior queens um, starts today over at the Gold Coast. So practice sessions tonight. So. More than half of these ladies also bowl the senior queens. Someone is saying our sound is not working. And uh, I'm not I'm not sure because Jeff said that he could hear our story, so I'm not sure. There you go, good live shot. mixer. Looking good so far, ladies. Pretty much an even ball game. If Barb doubles, she'll take a slight lead. Like I said, Barbara Demarest is in the Washington State Hall of Fame. She also has three regional P uh, LPBT titles, and she has a women's championships team title from 1996. See Kim Power now in the set taking some action shots too. Yes, Kim Power is a great bowler, but she's an amazing photographer, and she loves photography. Hey, what there a you go. shot. Conquered her right lane. Crushed him. Ten back. So my other great fact about Barbara is that... I think it was in 2012, USBC did a Fab Four contest. I don't know if you remember that, Blair. Um, yeah, the but they uh, chose breast cancer. for so Barb is a, a breast cancer survivor, yeah. and she was one of the Fab Four oh, that got awesome. to go on that trip to Arlington and spotlight yeah. and do the breast cancer promotion. So that was really kind of fun. Great shot. Good shot. That was a great shot. So Barb takes the lead. She's from Bellingham, Washington. Beautiful Bellingham, Washington. That's great. I want to go to Washington. That's my next uh, trip. Maybe she can give me a tour. <laughs> Probably would. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Dana can, Dana can, she throws a pretty great ball, pretty quick release. 
Gets it out. Gets that uh, ugly split out of the way. Yeah, lucky she to have just that. the seven. Tana has three kids, four grandkids. Wants to give a shout out, and her mom. Everyone might be watching at home. Her husband Bob is here with her. She has a good pro shop operator, Gary Robinson from Strike a Lot Pro Shop in Austin. What a spare. Love it. These ladies are proving that um, A, spares are important, and B, that they make them. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're all clean through. Yeah. Six frames. Leave nothing open. Leave nothing for uh, someone to get ahead of sorts. Make those strikes count. Tana also works for IBM. Oh, nice. And it's a very busy time of year, and um, she wants to give a shout-out to her team, who's helped covering the things while she's out here bowling. Well, I think if she brings home a title, um, they would uh, oh, be okay with it. Yeah. Shot. Oh, my uh, gosh. That was a that little was unfair. A, that was a bad break. That, that really did look like a good shot. It did. The beautiful Orleans has been the host this week, as it is every year. Has it always been at the Orleans? Um, I don't think so, but I'm not positive. Okay, we'll have it to get that It has been for a very long time. Daryl and his team, and Char Hamill, and everyone that puts together this event, they work so hard. Dawn, she, uh, they, they're such a great host, and they're always thinking of ideas to get more women out here to bowl. So if you're a lady who's eligible, this event happens every year in April, around this time, really, um, and it it's a great event that you should check out. Yeah, and there's in international players come. They have many different countries. We have got Canada, and I think there was Costa Rica last year, and some Australian girls came, and they even just came to watch this year. They didn't bowl, but they just were watching, and there's a lot of camaraderie at this tournament and a lot of fun with the ladies get together. Yeah, they had uh they did have one three hundred game bold. Jill. Yes. She's on senior team Canada. Jeff said nice that it is right before senior queen, so they can do two events on one trip. I That's think they plan that. A lot of ladies um, have done that. Yeah, they moved it a little bit this year. Another great shot by Barb. So I have one more did you know fact about Barb Demarest. You want to hear it? Sure. So her son, her husband Denny is here with her. Um, her son, Jeff Demarest, is the creator of TournamentBowl.com. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> a great uh, fact. That's and a fun fact. A lot of tournaments have used TournamentBowl.com. Mm -hmm. It's a great application. And yeah. I think the Golden Ladies is using it now. They are. <laughs> so, yeah. The so good Storm job, Utah Jeff. Open is uh, hosted by TournamentBowl.com, too. So, yeah. very awesome. Yeah, um, Barbara also works at Off Broadway Bowling Academy or works with them in Sno Snohomish, Dean Buchanan. She wants to give a shout out to them and thank them for all their efforts. Oh, that's a little far, right? Oh, she almost. She got away with it. I like her hand. She's like, yeah, I know. I missed it. Yeah, little. she zipped it right a little bit, but yeah. came back just a little too much angle probably. Cover it up and keep her lead. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Yeah, we have a great turnout this morning. It's it's amazing. Uh, I love all the fans who watch these ladies uh, bowl every year. And stick around when this stream is over. I mean, we're not even close to being done yet. We got a lot of action today. And the senior queens, you'll have some fun names um, that have never made the, not the senior queens, the senior division of this has some Hall of Famers.
some superstars, some, uh, it's a good five person step ladder coming up. And that will be a different feed for anyone that is watching. So you'll have to come back to us. But in that feed, we have um, Raylan Hazen, who was a third place finisher last year in this tournament. Dana Osek, who won the Senior Queens last year. They are the first match, and the winner of that will take on Kendra Cameron Curry, uh, USBC Hall of Famer. And the winner of that will take on Kathy Nelson from Texas. And the winner of that will take on Linda Barnes. That's your lineup later on. So that 810 really was mean to our friend Tina. That, that just kind of. One thing I would like to point out is that they've been in the pocket every single shot. Yeah. I think Barb had a, a 4 7 early. But. Great spare. Again, these spare shooting. These women are ready for senior queens with their spare game. Yes, Jeff, Ryan's mom, Linda. She used to be Chris's wife, Linda, and now she's Ryan's mom. Does, does Tina's jersey have dogs on it? Are those dogs in the middle? Or, it, or are you just seeing things, <laughs> Blair? <laughs> oh, man. Like, on the back. It's all floral. looks like flowers. Yeah. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let, wait till she turns around. Look at down in the low, her lower back. Are those flowers or dogs? Blair, I think you're seeing things. <laughs> I am going to go ask her. <laughs> I think you're right, Jeff. <laughs> so much that she's seeing things. <laughs> But you never know. Custom jerseys are amazing. You can do anything you want I on them. I am telling right? you, I think her dogs are on that. I am. I. I wish that uh, Sandy was still around because I would ask her because it's a community. I don't know. All right. So Barb is going to be our winner, and Barb is going to move on into the championship match against Karen Barkle. Karen is originally from Michigan, and she has been in Albuquerque for some time, so she'll be joining us when this match is over. We got Lupe watching from Panama saying, Go Barb. Loves the Golden Ladies Classic, GLC. GLC sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Can we make that stick? GLC. Great week for Tanya, Tanya though. Tina, I just I, I went to say a different name. Good week for her, and she's probably happy with it. I think if you make it to the finals, if if someone told you at the beginning of the week, hey, you're gonna make it to the finals, isn't that your goal most of the time? I would say most people would be happy with that. Yes. Okay, Sandy is watching. Sandy, are there dogs in this jersey? Need to know. <laughs> she might know because I think Sandy made her jersey. I, I'm. It looks like there's hidden dogs. Look at. Look, tell me there are not dogs in this jersey. <laughs> I'm sorry, fans at home. We are commenting on bowling, but I'm fascinated by this jersey. Like a where's Waldo. <laughs> it is. The That's... where's the fun. Barb can finish this off with a possible 240. That's a good start. We've had 300s on the live stream on uh, the finals. Michelle Carter pulled 300 once. Yes. 
Well, if you're going to big four, uh, you can big four after you've already won the match. <sighs> yeah, I'll take that. Still going to finish up with a 220, 219, 220. Now, if you were her here, would you be doing a little fill to try something different? or She's going for a, a spare, but... yeah. She's pretty lined up. I think she got a little slow on that one. She was kind of firm on the other ones. So a good game. 219. Tell me those uh, are not you know dogs. What? I see them. <laughs> I see them now. It was me who could not see properly. There are two dogs on Thank the back you. of Tana's jersey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I see them clearly. Shout out to uh, her jersey maker for making them camouflage. Oh, it's adorable. It's so cute. Now yeah. I can't not see it. See? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while. That's an adorable jersey. Oh, and a great shot. Man. The pins just uh, just didn't want to cooperate. Nathan sees them too. Thank you, everyone. I do miss Bosa, but I'm not seeing dogs. I appreciate everyone. It's only been a day. We just got here yesterday. <laughs> right. It's true. I'm going to see him later. Those must be her dogs. Did you ask her if she had dogs? I just now found out that there are dogs on her jersey, Blair. And I'm going to guess that, yes, they are her dogs. <laughs> All right. Great week, as we said, for Miss Tana. The, her competitive husband, Bob, is asking her to throw a different ball right now. Oh, just to see. Maybe he's uh, trying to figure out if something else could have been done but i bet she's well in senior queens so i yeah. mean it's not a terrible thing to no, do you're yeah. always learning yeah just see if something would have been different because in the moment you're like oh, i don't want to change nice bowling yeah. tina great great job third place at the golden ladies all right it's time, people. It's time for the finals of the Super Senior Division. Do you want to take a short break and come back when they're uh, full? Yeah, because I think Karen gets a few shots practice, so I don't know if you have a little I commercial. Do. I think I have a be right back. So we will be right back soon. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. How's it going, Storm Nation? I'm Steve Klemkin, and today I'm throwing the road. One of the most impressive things about the road for me was the pin carry. You can see the shape of the ball as it goes through the pins. There's very, very little deflection, and the reason for that is that a lot of other balls for me, if they get revving up a little bit too early or too soon, they'll shape the mid lane nice, but then they don't continue through the pins. So with the road being that it has a little bit higher RG, but still has ample differential, it gets down the lane, makes the corner late, and then just accelerates through the pins. Hey Storm Nation, Hank Boomershine here. So this layout for me is quite unique. It's a two by six by one. So you don't see a lot of two inch pins in a lot of these videos, but I want to show you some this versatility that we've made in this road ball. So now using this in a two inch pin scenario, lets me get up on top of it, lets me get a little bit in front of me, lets me give it a little bit away as well too. But a lot of times people shy away from the two inch layouts because they're afraid they won't kind of give them a little bit of motion down lane. But the beauty of the AI technology, see a couple of these off pocket hits, just kind of gives you that, it just goes through the pins so much different. So I urge you guys to try one and bowl up a storm. First impressions of the road, super versatile. And that's kind of to be expected from a ball with a diff below 50. Balls in this range tend to be my favorites because I can miss it at the bottom or gas it a little too hard and it's not gonna make any unpredicted movements. 
For those reasons, I'd recommend to anyone who's drilling one up to use your favorite benchmark layout on it. You can't go wrong. Hey guys, Yannick here. The Rode features the AI Core, which is proven to provide up to 5% more strikes on lighter hits. As you can see, I got some of those while recording. The original High Road is loved by many for many different reasons. The Road is no different. Designed for different styles, it is really a versatile ball. I can't wait to use this when I have to loft over the gutters and get the ball down lane to my breakpoint. I'm excited to see the latest AI Core technology to be introduced in a line that has been around forever. Hey everyone, it's your boy. Just got done throwing the road. I've said this before that the high road never really matched up with me, especially now that I'm two-handed and my stock speed sits around 18 miles an hour. With AI core dropping the RG, it makes a noticeable difference in when the ball hooks front to back. It's much more predictable and no one was ever home when I sent some nasty messengers. Hey guys, Ken here and today I'm throwing the road. I threw the original high road and for me it would sometimes miss the spot where the road, sometimes I miss left and then sometimes I miss right and I haven't had this much miss room with a ball in a long time. Hey Storm Nation, this is Tyler Jensen here. Just got done throwing the new road with the REX cover and the AI core. Uh, one of my favorite things when, when bowling competitively was, was getting to a high road and with the rule changes when the balance hole went away and the oils got thicker, that ball was taken out of play for me. But this new road is perfect. It allows me to get in when the lanes get a little choppy, get around them and, and really goes through the pins well. So thank you very much. This is Tyler Jensen and I approve this message. <laughs> Championship match of the Golden Ladies Super Senior Division. Barbara Demarest and Karen Barkow. Looks like Barbara is going to start the match. She was the winner of the first match with the 219. For the super seniors, let's give these ladies a round of applause. Sweet voice of Mr. Darrow. Someone just said they need to change the board, and they did. We're on it, D. We got this. I'm not sure what the prize fund is. Not sure what they're bowling for. <clears throat> As in first place prize money, I'm not sure. I don't know, but uh, Boyd donated uh, $25 in free play to every participant. So thank you to <laughs> Boyd Gaming for <laughs> providing a little bit of fun for the ladies as they uh, spent their week here. Blair, let's share our um, gambling story from last night. Not our gambling story, but as we were walking after dinner, we walked by a group of these ladies oh and their husband, um, <laughs> Tony Franklin, Jeannie Franklin, and Sandy Charles were playing Pike Out, and the table next to them, a man had $5. 
five aces and won $52,000. $52,000, people. It was not us. So, uh, unfortunately, we were not walking And it home. was not a member of the bowling family either, and apparently, unfortunately. Apparently, there is a reputation if you sit next to those folks at a table, you win. That's what I've heard. Or right, what they good, believe. Good spare by Barbara. Karen Barkle comes to this tournament from the Albuquerque area. She bowls at 10 pins and more in Holiday Lanes in Albuquerque. 10 pins and more is owned by the Mackey family, Steve Mackey, Dana Miller Mackey. Mike Miller, a great bowling family. And she also bowls at Holiday Lanes, which is Gary Skidmore, PBA player, he owns that. Surrounded by a, her <coughs> shot. a lot of bowling community there. High flush. Good start for Karen. I was trying to see if there was the number of games the ladies had bowled this week. Well, this division bowled 18 games of qualifying and then 12 games of match play. So 30 competition games plus their practice. That's amazing. The other division had more six more games of match play, so 36, I believe. A lot of games for both divisions over three days. Two rounds a day. Good shot. Pretty good opening start. Let's see if the spares are still rolling. I think they will be. Karen's wearing a I Am Bowling jersey, the official sponsor of the Golden Ladies. That is the official Golden Ladies. They, I Am Bowling designs a custom design and sells them to the tournament uh, each year, and that's the official Line one this for year? this year. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, a, it's subtle, which is nice. Yeah, it's good, 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 good. Karen will be moving over bowling the senior queens. Starts this afternoon with practice session. Her best finish at the senior queens was uh, a few years ago. She finished fourth. Nice. So she's looking to keep the good bowling going over on the to the Gold Coast, which starts tomorrow morning. Another awesome Boyd property. Boyd is taking care of the, they got the senior bowling. ladies. They got the bowling going on this week. I'm still stuck on the, the $52,000 Win yeah. last night. I've never seen anyone win a jackpot that large in a casino while I'm in the building. I don't think I have either. And he sat there for a long time because they had to figure out what to do. Oh. Barb leaves a 10 pin. But she's made a lot of them, so. The great Donna Connors has tuned in. Hello, Donna. She has a couple friends coming up in the field. She's got Kathy Nelson in the uh, senior division coming up from Texas. Regina um, Abood is uh, watching as well. Sorry uh, to cut you off. It's all right. She's watching from upstairs. Regina made the cut in this one. She's resting up before she heads off to Kentucky to watch her son and the collegiate teams bowl in the ITCs. This is a great spare. Is that the new lightning storm spare ball that she just threw? It is. It is. It looks awesome going down I want light. one. It's beautiful. Do you know where I can find one? Uh, stormbowling.com or your local <laughs> Storm VIP Pro Shop. Actually, you can't buy them on stormbowling.com, so. No, I think we, our first batch got sold out. They were so popular. I was oh, yeah. wondering if we got more in. I'm not sure, actually. I think they're coming soon. If you're waiting on one. I am. <laughs> 
I'm obsessed with the new ice. That's what I want to drill. I need to drill that when I get back. I love how we're talking about spare balls. To me, it looks like Barb is throwing a high road, but Good I'm not shot. sure. Good shot, Barb. These ladies don't look super nervous either. They're both like, eh, whatever, we're bowling. I asked Karen if she was nervous. She said yes, but I said, but she sh kind of shrugged her shoulders. She goes, yep, I guess. And I go, well, yeah. I guess everyone probably is. I'd be really nervous. I, I'm, I'm, I look up to these ladies who aren't nervous. So it's very cool. Well, here's the thing. They've all been bowling for the last three days, and they've been bowling with everybody, and yeah. now no one else is bowling. Yeah, it's quiet. In so there. that's what I think is nerve-wracking. What a shot. That was a really good shot. I Karen. think this is going to be a close match. That's yes. my call. It is through three frames, but I, I think it's going to continue on. Nathan said his lightning spare ball is sitting on the counter at the bowling center. Looks lots of compliments on the look of it. I wouldn't leave it at the counter, Nathan. Yeah. Someone might swipe it. Leanne's going to figure out where your counter is and come swipe it. Oh, swipe it. Goody says, amazing the amount of games they had to compete just in just qualifying and match play in the first two days. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. But you know what? All these ladies love it. Yeah, and they didn't bowl on a sport pattern. It's pretty much a like a house-friendly shot. The thing that the ladies... Uh, when I talked to them about their bowling and what worked and what didn't work, you know, and they said, most of them said they just had issues with carry. And they said yeah. the lanes were pretty tight. So a lot of them, like, maybe put some surface on the ball and stuff like that. But um, most of them didn't have trouble finding the line to the pocket. They just had carry trouble. So, which would have been just, like, ball choice or whatever. So. You know another position in the bowling center right now with a, a lot of pressure on them? Our beautiful scorekeeper. Don't mess up that beautiful board. <laughs> My hands would be shaking. I know. It looks, her handwriting is, I wonder if you have to ha have a handwriting test to be the official scorekeeper yeah, of the Golden Ladies. She's doing a good job. Yeah. That's a great shot. Oh, all right. There's. Barbara gets a double. Yep. Okay. You, I think you're right. It, here we go. It's all even after four. Karen has a one pin lead. See, maybe Karen has the advantage. She she's going a little more direct, where Barb has a little, a little bit of an away. She's going. Covering a few boards. Karen going much more direct. Good shot. That was a good shot. I think that's where what you were saying earlier about the ladies just being in the pocket but not always getting that carry. That's a good example of that, right? Where yeah, you, most of them have a little slower ball speed, like yeah. all, like the like the older ladies, like myself. The older we get, our ball speed goes down. Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> Sad. Karen, Karen has a little more ball speed than Barb, so I'm I'm giving a slight advantage right now to Karen. However, both are pretty much lined up. Another great spare. Good cover. Barb's, Barb's got a classic style. Her spare game is really great, too. Yeah. Which, again, like <laughs> we said, you need it. She looks like she's having fun, smiling, chatting with her husband. She brought a little fan club this morning, and they 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 were they got the sitting, VIP seats. They did. They were sitting in our spots, and then someone said they were going to drink my coffee, and I go, "Oh, wait a minute! You can't have the seat. You can't drink have my, my coffee, coffee, but you can have my seat." <laughs> yeah. Well, 
right, let's see if Karen can continue the striking. She did. Awesome shot. Pretty simple game as well. I'm just not sure what the check is. So the guaranteed prize fund in the super senior was a thousand dollars. First not place? Sure. Yes. Yeah. But I'm not sure if uh they got more entry. I don't know what the So it's somewhere around a thousand dollars. Somewhere around there. For three days of bowling. It's pretty good. They have the check over there waiting to be written on. I see that. And the beautiful trophy. It's like crystal. I like it. All right, Karen can pretty much get this lead. Oh, a little 10 pin. She got that one a little right. She was going pretty direct, and that one she got a little, little right. Keep keeping Barb in it. We will take a short break after this. And come back match, with another sheet. And we'll come back fresh with yep. a new stream for the senior division, which will have four matches. There's five finalists. And like we said, if you're watching and you're not here and you're a bowler, uh, mark this on your calendar next year. Uh, yeah, if you are a 50 year old female bowler and wants to come to Las Vegas and bowl and make some new friends. This is a tournament to definitely try. There were 25 first timers in this tournament this week. And it looks like you just have to be 50 as of the start of the tournament. Mm -hmm. So if your birthday is on the first day of the tournament, you're still eligible. Yeah. And there were some bowlers that have been planning this trip for years, right? Like they knew They couldn't about wait it. till they turned 50. Yeah. Kendra Cameron Curry was one of them. And now she's she in the turned finals. 50 last summer and couldn't wait to she got in shape to bowl this tournament, like bowling shape. Like she was like I'm getting competitive. I'm going to bowl the Golden Ladies. That's fun. I love that. Good shot. Yeah, her ball's just going a little longer, a little longer. Yeah, it is. She almost could move right, I think. I think so. I yeah. think that would be the move. Just scooch a little right, tighten up your angles. Yeah. Get a little carry down now, so she just needs to... Just a little bit. I think she's really close. Make a slight close. adjustment, cover up this bucket, which is not an easy spare. But it does look like she has thrown the high road. I just kind of got a glance of it. She stormed head to toe. I love it. No. Thank you, Barb. She's a faithful. She wanted to give a shout out to her coach, Carl Nichols. Does a lot of work with her up at that off Broadway Bowling Academy. Good cover, Barbara. That was a great, I'm telling you, if you are watching this, this spare game, Barbara's spare game is fantastic. But all of these ladies' spare games. Are fantastic. Yeah. And the only open we had last game was the split big four. And the eight ten, yeah. Yep. Two splits were yep. the only opens. And if you want to come bowl, I would practice the spares. <laughs> I need to practice my spares. I need to be more like Barbara. I'd say Barb needs to Get a strike up there on the board. She does. Keep herself in it. I wonder if she moved a little right. She, I can't really tell from this angle. But. Mm. Ah, good shot. Really good shot. Down by about 16 pins, so 
Who's gonna need a little help? Three frames to go. Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can. Well, the can's pretty lined up. But again, anything could happen. Covers it up like a champ. Barb is writing in her notebook in between shots. Dedicated. Student of the game. Dedicated. Karen taking a little extra time. Our senior ladies are warming up. Ten lanes left, getting ready for the next round. It's close. Oh, Good looked shot. like she was a little nervous about that. I don't know if she thought she'd miss but it in. Oh, it was ten back. Yeah. I think there is hold in there if you have the speed of Karen. There's a little bit of hold. It's been in the pocket pretty much every shot. I'd say a double here is going to make it really hard for Barbara, but. Karen taking her time. I think Karen is also using one of the new Golden Lady chamois, too, provided by I Am Women. Good supporter, a good sponsor of this event for the last couple years, many, many years. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I think she was just a little firm with that. That is going to be a tough spare. That gives yep. Barb a little hope. Got kind of a good crowd coming in. A lot of the people who are here with other competitors are watching. Strolling down after coffee, checking out the finals. Lots of good camaraderie during this tournament, so everyone's happy to see each other do well. She Great covered cover. It. I love she she said everybody. I love it. Smiling. I think uh, that one, that's Tough a spare. That's a pretty big spare of the game right there. Yeah. Because that would have changed a little bit of the pressure. Yeah. So she holds on to a 16 pin lead at a minimum 16 pins. Yeah. I would say Barb is in a must strike situation. Let's see what she can do to finish off this game. Shot. Gets the 10 out and the 7 sits there. Looks like she did make a, a little adjustment right. It was a good shot. Down by 17. If she spares this up, she can still bowl 2. 22, 162, 192, 222, 212, sorry, my math, 212 possible for Barb. Ooh, 
your skinny jeans, <laughs> as Randy Peterson would say. Doesn't matter how, you got it. Okay, so one, six, yeah. Oh, she can still blow 222, right? Blair, help me out. 162, 192, 222. Yes, 162, 192. Yeah, she can still blow 222. Yeah, 222. Yep, yep, yep. And then... Yeah, I mean, Karen still has an advantage, but Barb can get to 222. So if she goes yeah. to 222, Barb's going to have to get a double because she's yeah. on a... Yeah. Or Karen's going to have to double. She's 219 pace, so yeah. Barb can put some pressure on her. Yeah, if they both go out. There you go. Great oh, shot, great Barbara. Shot. Okay. Still a chance. It's coming down to the 10th. Right, Karen, first step is she has to have this one. That's the first step. Just for more, you know, to keep the pressure on Barbara. Four pin, okay. All right, so here is 78, so she can still get up in the 10th and, sh and win it. Yes. But if she does not double, Barbara has a chance to win. Yes. So first things first, cover up the four pin. Lupe says, uh, fantastic bowling after almost 33 games. That's what I'm saying. For sure. I mean, I don't, I, I know that probably this morning when these ladies woke up, Probably was a little, you know, sore. Uh, I'm thinking, maybe. That's how I would feel. When I got here yesterday, I walked down to say hi to a few friends that were bowling. And it was the lovely aroma of icy hot and <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> all that. I go, oh, you guys are feeling it, are you? <laughs> Day number three, and they were doing the roll-on. And Listen, that roll-on icy hot is yeah. the best invention icy hot ever came out with. Hey, uh, Daryl and Fawn and Char, uh, potential maybe sponsors. sponsor alert. <laughs> Some sort of the uh, icy hot or uh... that would be funny. Oh my goodness! They make patches now. Like uh, these products have come a long way over the years. I I could I could maybe see a sponsorship with like Epsom salts or something. <laughs> yeah, really. Take the Epsom salt bath. Yeah. All right, Karen. Possible two twenty nine. Two twenty eight. That is nice. left. That oh. was a little left on her hand. It looked like. Good shot though. Okay, solid so. nine. So spares it up. Two seventeen possible, which would mean Barb would need a double and six. <laughs> I told you the most stressful position in the everyone flagged her down too. Is that an erasable? I don't is it can she wipe it off or is that a cardboard thing? I don't know what the the white out uh -oh. nope, looks like a sharpie. Did she just jinx Barb with oh, the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Gloria Gates, though, in the chat says she's hoping to bowl this next year. Gloria, uh, we can't wait to Come see you out Come on out, here. Gloria. You won't regret it. These ladies have a lot of fun. There was a cocktail party the other night. Yeah. Uh, Storm provides goodies, raffle prizes. Tom Lane did a Yahtzee game, and uh, pretty much everyone who went to the cocktail party, received some sort of little prize or gift, and uh, food and drink were provided by the Orleans. 
Here, here's what I love about this tournament. Very similar to our friends over at the True Amateur Tournaments, which um, many of these ladies also bowl that tournament that are local or from the West Coast. But there's so many ways to make a little bit of money throughout the week, right? Because they do a sweeper on Monday, and it's uh, there's two divisions in that. And then they do a second chance sweeper on Thursday mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. So if you miss the cut, you can bowl in that second chance sweeper. Um, and then, as you mentioned, there's the banquet, but there's just a lot of things going on. Um, so it, it is a great, great event. It's not just a tournament. Okay, so Karen finished up with a very respectable 216. Clean 216. And Miss Barbara Demarest needs a double. And five to take home the title. And she has not been striking on this lane. She didn't strike in the eighth, the sixth. She did strike in the fourth. So let's see what she can do. She did throw a good shot last time with the little seven pin, so. Left, but it held. There's a strike. Our scorekeeper is coming over to uh, make a little. She didn't jinx her. No, she didn't. She didn't jinx her. She's going to give her a solid X on that one. It'll be a good X. <laughs> it's a big X. Okay, Barbara needs the next one. I wonder if she's nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for her. Yeah, it's a big shot. And, you know, this is what we were talking about on the Morning Bowl a couple weeks ago. You were not on the show, but Gary and I were on the show, and we were talking about how much a title means to some bowlers. Like, this it's more than the money. This is a national tournament. Right? I mean, it's, it might not be a whole bunch of prize fund, you know, but it's a national tournament. Women come from all over to bowl this. So, like, for me, if I was in Barbara or Karen's position, I would be so nervous because I don't even care what the prize fund is. I want that title. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, she, she got it. it. She got it. Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Two great shots in the 10th. So now we just need good count, and she Five will be pins. the champion. Five pins. We'll do it. I was trying to glance at her husband. Denny sitting over here with a friend of hers. He looks pretty happy for her. Now, is she bowling senior queens as well? I think she is going home. Oh, okay. And remember what I told you. After practice session four days ago, she was going to withdraw from the tournament. My goodness. And she adjusted her her pitch in her thumb and got some new grips and she wins the tournament all right and she is gonna hit the head pin and get a strike just because and uh your champion is miss barbara let's give karen barkle a round of applause great bowling all week karen Good $1,000 winner. All right. And she is just so excited and so happy. And uh, they're presenting the trophy now. Over here, over here. Should I hold it somehow? Can you hold the trophy up there? Some photos. They're going to do some photos. They're going to take some pictures. Uh, Leanne, I think we're going to sign off. We'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to take a little coffee break. We're going to come back with the senior division finals the top five will be bowling linda barnes kendra uh kathy nelson kendra cameron curry dana osek and raylan hazen coming up in uh five or ten minutes yeah so stay yeah, check back with us on the storm bowling facebook page and our storm bowling youtube page and we will be right back 